Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Sandy Writes. We are currently in April, which is the month of Camp Nano, unless there's two, which I think there might be. So today I want to talk about my work in progress a little bit more. I mentioned it in a past video, which was the work in progress tag, but I want to talk about it still a little bit more. So this is the my story tag and I'm not sure who this is started by, but if I can find out I'll leave a link in the description. If not, please let me know. And my work in progress is called Paper Forests. Let's begin. So question one is, tell us about your story. This is a question that, oh, it's like, I think it's everyone's problem that if someone asks you what your story's about, you have no idea. But in very simplified terms, Paper Forests is a story about four people existing in a place between life and death, kind of like personal heaven, which is the Paper Forest. And all they want is to find their way home. And that may not sound very exciting, but I'm keeping it simple because I feel like any of the description will have a lot of spoilers. Question two, is this part of Camp NaNoWriMo, NaNoWriMo, or a personal project? So this originally was going to be a personal project. Last year, sometime, I wrote like the prologue first chapter thing just because I had the idea and wanted to sit on paper so I wouldn't forget. But I started developing it properly in Camp NaNo that year, which was July. And they maybe did like 20,000 words on it and this year I'm trying to finish it off. I'll do a lot more progress and rewriting during this month and then hopefully finish it in the next Camp Nano which I think is July. Question 4. What is your favourite friendship? So as there's only like really four main characters, two of which are consistent and the other two kind of like float in and out. There's not really much time for a friendship to develop, but the one between, like, in the first few chapters, the how the relationship builds between Gracie and Ansel is something I'm very proud of, and I think there's lots of like cute moments. What is your favourite romance? There's only one romance, and that is August and Oliver. Question six. What is the saddest scene in your story? Well, this is also something I can't get into detail because, spoilers, but it is a death scene, and it's... Over halfway through, not quite at the end, it's in like the second half, maybe three quarters of the way through, and it, yeah, it's a death scene. I found it quite sad to write. What is your favourite scene in the story? I was having a quick look through my Word document before doing this video, and I think a scene at the start of chapter 9 is one of my favourites. It's like a stargazing scene, and in this very like chaotic environment. So, some spoilers. My stomach just crumbled because it's a place between life and death it's not easy to survive so it's lots of like there's monsters there there's armies there that's a very bad description of it but there's a scene where they're just stargazing and it's like this very peaceful moment and that's what i really love about it like the contrast between the conflict and this moment of peace also i'm probably going to throw in like the first kiss scene or the ending chapter because I haven't finished the story but I've written the last chapter and that is something I'm very proud of. What is your opening scene? So the book opens with I guess a prologue. The entire book is set in the paper forest but the prologue and epilogue are scenes that are outside so what is it? Oh yeah opening chapter it's about the parents and the family of these children who have died and they're like in a therapy room and they're basically setting the backstory for all the characters, like how old they are, how they died, just like who they are. And it gives a little idea of people suggesting that they know the paper forest is real, but also not being entirely sure that it's more of a, like a myth or a story than truth. And also the ending chapter is basically the first chapter. It's like a like, cyclical, cyclical, it's a destroys a circle. It starts and ends in the same place and that's also something I'm very proud of. The only thing I've learned in English GCSE. <laughs> Number nine, how does this story come about? So one of my favourite bands of all time, My Chemical Romance, broke up many a year ago now. But I remember reading it wasn't an interview, so I think the interview was interview was all audio, but I saw a post on Tumblr saying something about how the concept for MCR five was about parents who had lost their children and were trying to get through it. It's going to be called like Paper Kingdom or something like that. And I stole the idea and adapted it and now it's bigger than I could ever dream of. It was slightly inspired by a writing prompt I saw on Pinterest which said something like 
Imagine all the characters like are dead and in the afterlife and life's good, but the main issue is that they will come alive again. And that was also a very interesting idea I wanted to play with a little bit. What is the theme of your story? Death, I guess. It's an entire book just playing around with the concept of death. What isn't working in your story? I don't know what isn't working right now, but I guess... Well, what isn't working for me is that I'm a lot below the words count I want to be at. So I don't want to risk like putting in so many unnecessary scenes. But I have ideas of stuff I want to put in, but the placement might make it seem like it's like a filler chapter. So that's what that's what's not working for me. The story, it's going good. <laughs> what is one thing you love about your story? I mean, obviously the biggest thing I love about the story is the concept. It's an idea that I've been thinking about and like snowballing for so long and now I'm finally getting it onto the page and it's so much better than I thought it would be. So the thing I love most about it is that this is like the favourite thing I've ever written and that means like a lot to me. And final question 13. Do you plan to publish? Yes. My first plan, as I did for my book Beating a Breakdown, I'm probably going to self-publish it because I want to have the full control over what's in it, what it looks like, all that stuff. But then I might have to, I'll query people at the same time, but obviously I, I want the control. So self-publishing, definitely yes, but traditional publishing, that's a dream. I don't know if I'm quite ready for it right now, maybe like a few years, but right now like I'm building my portfolio. Almost like building a brand, I guess. So thank you for watching this video. In the comments below, let me know about the story you're working on right now, or just, if you're not working a story, let me know what you're reading. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!